ready for the signal. Coming up out of the squat. Yes, it looks like a good attempt. A delighted Venti Amali. There's the lights, two white lights, one red, three judges, but as long as the majority are satisfied, that's a good lift. The second Indonesian, Talambanua Nanda. Now, Yuris, interesting, he failed at 240, went up to 245 nevertheless and got that, and now going for 255. Yes, that's a 10 kilo jump, and uh, if he's successful, we'll really put him in the front of the uh, competition. It doesn't look like it's uh, low enough in depth, and I think he'll get two red lights. Yes, he did. He got the side judge's red lights, and the uh, head judge gave him a white. So that's no left, just failing at 2.55. Moving on to the second of the three disciplines, the bench press. This is Gerard Tromp from the Netherlands going for 137.5 his third lift he's already got 132.5 in the bag right he's uh, just about to go down with a bar touch the chest and he gets a clap and up it comes and now he puts it back to the judge and it looks like it's going to be a good lift yes three white lights you're on the bench pressing the rules state that the bar must touch the chest. That's correct, and he must pause before he gets a clap to push it back up again. Ventiamale again, in the lead at the moment. Down to the chest, with a clap, up he comes. Yes, it's a straight lift, and it looks like he's got 137.5. Juris, only three weight divisions in this competition, so a big difference. We've got uh, lifters as low as 55.2, right up to 64.1 in this division. How is it possible for them to compete together? Well, they have a Swartz formula where the coefficient is multiplied by the final total of the three lifts, and this gives them the, uh, the final outcome. Now a moment to save our little Isigawa from Japan going for a world record, 160.5 kilos on the bench press. And to put that into perspective, he only weighs 55.8 kilos himself. He's already taken the lead in the competition, going ahead of Ventiamala. This yes, looks like he uh, had an uneven extension, and uh, with that, he'll get the uh, three red lights from the judges. Three lights, uh, middle left of your screen there. None of the judges satisfied with that lift because of the break in the left arm. On to the third section of the competition now, the deadlift. And Ventiamale with everything to do, Yuris. That's right. This is uh, the lift that will get him the, in front of uh, Izagawa and uh, take out the gold medal. He's setting himself up. Up it comes. Here it is. He locks it out. And this will be a good lift. A delighted Ventiamale. The smile said it all. Tiny little man, 55.2, and there, lifting over four times his body weight. Now the Frenchman, Lucien de Faria. Amazing character, 43 years old. That's right, and he's going to attempt a, a new Masters world record at 280.5 kilograms. The Masters division, over 40s, locks it out. That alternate grip straightens the back, and he's made it. And a little bit of uh, French flair there at the end. Let himself go a bit. Isigawa from Japan, his third lift, he's going for 237.5 kilograms. Needs this if he's to stay in the hunt for the gold against Ventiamale. That's correct, uh, 237.5. If he gets this up, he'll be in front and uh, take out the gold medal. This is a weight he's done before. 
Uh, looks like it's too heavy for the day. So Benti Amali stays in the lead at the moment and Isigawa was the only one really who could catch him. But Mali still has a third lift. Note in this deadlift, one hand in overgrasp, one hand in undergrasp, and the legs must straighten and the back must lock out, Yuris. That's right, and uh, with the, the arms in that position, it stops the bar from rolling out of those hands. And there are the style of lifting, which is the sumo style. You don't use much of your back, it's all legs. And up it comes, here it is. And it's 242.5, another successful lift for Mali. A real character, Benji Amale. The crowd have taken him to their hearts, and he's got the gold medal with that in the lightweight division. 595 kilos, a world junior record total. The silver goes to Isigawa and the bronze to Nanda. Into the middleweight division, this is Michael Barber from the USA. Each class, they start with the squat. Barber lifts off the weights. Now, what are the faults that the judges will look for here, Yuris? Well, the depth and making sure the bar is at the height on the shoulders, not below, too much below the belt heads. No, he's unsuccessful with 295 in this particular lift. Here's the defending champion. Just raising himself, Alexander Orsby from the USA, asking the crowd to give him a lift. That's correct, and he loves the roar of the crowd. In this sport, you can have as much noise as you want. Here he steps out with 300 kilos. Getting the judge's decision come down. And he's down his depth, beautiful depth. Out he comes, strong lift, and looks like a successful lift of 300 kilos. Yes, he's happy in that. Two whites, one red, but that's good enough. Got a hard look at the judge who gave him a red light there as he went off. Yeah, some of them do. They don't like uh, getting those red lights. And this is Floriano Dominici from Italy. Here's a good illustration of the difference between the competitors. His weight is 89.9 kilos he's only just inside this weight limit so the weight he lifts is multiplied by 0.5857 whereas Orsby's is multiplied by 0.6701 because he's much lighter that's correct and now up he comes out of this lift 315 kilos and a very good lift and he's helped back by the spotters and he's happy with that looks like he's got the uh, judges his decision Dom Dominici there lifting 15 kilos more than the American, but he won't score quite as many points for it. In fact, the American 201.02, the Italian 184.49. Alexander Orsby now ready for his third lift. He's lifted 152.5 kilograms, going for 157.5. He lays down, puts his hands on the bar. Sets himself up ready for the set of lift off by the spotter. The spotter's there just helping the bar forward so the arms are vertical. Pushes it up. Uh, looks like it's uh, an uneven extension there. And it's a no lift. Difficult to see, but given a red light by all three judges. Floriano Dominici from Italy trying desperately to stay with the American but he's got to lift considerably more poundage if he's to do that going now for 200 kilograms he's already lifted 195 if he can get this he'll be really close yes uh, that'll really get him close to it and this in the old uh, terms is 440 pounds this is the magic 200 kilos that everybody tries to get in the bench press. Setting yourself up, get a big arch. The higher you get your chest up, the lower you have to bring the bar to your chest. So, getting ready for it. 
Down to the chest. Clap. Up it comes. Yes. It's a good lift. 200 kilos. Tremendous effort from Dominici. One judge didn't like it, but it's good. We'll be back with the climax of this competition in a couple of minutes. Really do a bad injury to yourself, and uh, this also helps them go down to the depths they want. Yeah, here we are. Tony Stevens going for 337.5 kilograms. Oh, yes, very clean, easy lift, and that's his best for the day. Three white lights by the referees. Well, to show you the difference in the weight of the competitors, in comes Rudolf Kuster, a massive 131 kilograms, a real giant of a man. And he's a character in his own rights. And there are a lot of these in the sport of powerlifting. Gets himself set under the bar. Gives that a roar. Steps back. Must look up to get the judge to call him down. Down he goes. Yes. Oh, it's an easy lift. Yes, he's happy with that one. 342.5. Three white lights. Clean lift. Well, if you thought Kuster was big, look at this man, Jean-Pierre Brulois. Those of you who've watched the World's Strongest Man competitions might recognize him. 142.9 kilos he weighs. An absolute giant. Going now for a massive 355 kilos. Yeah, it's just five kilos more than his second attempt of 350. Steps back, gets it ready for the lift. And he goes. And he's twisting and looks like he stopped on the way up. And you can't do this in, in the squat. Saw the referee's arms come up, signifying that it wasn't a smooth lift all the way through. Stopped on the way. So the advantage with Tony Stevens after the first round on to the second lift, the bench press. And it's the West German giant, Rudolf Kuster. Real character here. He's the local hero of the, uh, the people. He's a gentle giant and he's a real liked fellow. It comes down the chest, pushes it up. No, it's a bit too heavy on the day. Got very long levers, big man, that makes the bench press more difficult. Yeah, short arms is always an advantage in this particular lift. And now a moment of crisis for Great Britain's Tony Stevens. Failed at 200 kilograms in his opening lift, and that must put the pressure on him, Uris. Yes, it always does. Uh, you need to get your first lift in, and now we're attempting 205 kilos. And it's going up, yes. Good lift there. Much happier with his position. He put weights in underneath his feet, smooth that time, and he'll be relieved at that. 205 successful for Tony Stevens. And there's the man who's breathing down his neck. Johnny Melander from Sweden, also going for 205 kilograms. Yes, and uh, this is, in the old terms, is actually 451 pounds. So it's an incredible lift. And this is a lift that Johnny likes, he excels in this particular lift. It comes down to his chest, gets a clap and punches it up. Up it comes, it's steady, and it looks like it's going to be a good lift for him. As he gets up, yes, he's happy with that, 205 kilos. So Melanda, staying in touch. Now Jean-Pierre Brulois, he's going for 230 kilograms. But he weighs so much more than Stevens or Melander that that still won't score him as many points. Up it comes, yes, it's steady. 230 kilos on the bar. And yes, he's happy, he acknowledges the crowd, and it's a good lift. A great battle going on between Brulois and Kuster. 
And they are really in the hunt for the bronze medal. I don't think unless there's a, a disastrous mistake by the Swede or the British lifter that uh, anybody else is going to figure in the gold and silver. And Kusta there just working out exactly what he's got to go for if he's to get into the medals. Yes, I think he's getting his brain organised there and uh, he's a bit of a character. He's staring at the results. And I think it's a bit hard for him to work out. But he steps away. Next lifter, Into the final section, the deadlift, and Johnny Melanda still in touch with Stevens, and I'm sure that he's not given up thoughts of that gold yet. No, he'll always be out there to try and get this final lift of his. Gets himself set. Back down, pulls it up. Yes, he's up there. Good lift. Good opener from him, 290 kilograms on his first lift. And he does a double bicep pose there, and the crowd loves it. He'll be back for the bodybuilding in the middle of next week. Yes, I guess so. Okay, Kusta now, the local hero. The rhythmic clapping of the crowd, helping to build him up. 340 kilograms he's going for. This is first lift. He's getting into the bar. Rolls the bar closer to his legs. The closer you have the bar to your legs, the easier lift becomes. You don't use much of your back. Sets himself up in the sumo style and pulls it up. Yes, he's coming up and he finishes it up. Locks it out well. And it's a good lift. First opener. And that's a Tony Stevens from Great Britain. Next up, he's already lifted 320 kilograms. That's 30 above Melanda. So the advantage with him gets that one up. Yes, but he unlocks and he puts it back down. It's a no lift. He didn't quite finish off the lift. Three red lights, and that puts the pressure back on him. Having failed at 330, Johnny Melanda now knows but if he can lift this one, he's in the driving seat. And that's a 40 kilo jump here for his second attempt, which is a lift that usually only jump about 15 to 20 kilos at a time. Sets himself up now. Back will come down. Crowd's right behind him. And he pulls it up. Up it comes. It's up there. Oh, he's lost it. Pulled that out of his right hand and I think he's injured that hand enormous pressure on the hands because they're such great weights even if you've got the body strength sometimes very difficult to keep the grip yes it is especially these heavy weights there Jean-Pierre Brulois going for 332.5 kilos on his second attempt but he doesn't lock it out quite resigned to it on the day just didn't happen for me that's correct and uh, there we have Kuster again with a chant from the audience. He acknowledges them. He loves the crowd behind him. Going for a massive 350 kilograms. That wide stance, getting his legs tight in to the bar so that he's lifting through the vertical plane as much leg as possible into it and as little back. He sets himself up, gives out a roar, and no, it's too heavy on the day. Steps back angry with himself didn't get himself into a good lifting position and didn't perhaps give it the lift that he wanted now here's an interesting development tony stevens coming in before johnny melander so tony stevens going for 330 kilos again he failed on his second lift melander obviously gambling everything and going for a higher weight in the hope of taking gold stevens needs this yes he pulls it up and he finishes it was 330 kilos a good lift he's happy with that three white lights the best sight in the world for a power lifter now comes melanda really psyching himself up going for 337.5 he's worked it out this is what he needs to take gold is he capable of it yours he is he can do this sort of weight and uh, especially if he's hungry for that gold to win he sets himself out, gets his hands on the bar really tight. 
now he must do this in one smooth lift. Yes, he's coming, he's coming up above the knee. Oh. Well, he got it started, but couldn't finish it out. Again, the big pose. And a good body he has there too. He would go well in the bodybuilding yeah, sections. Well, there you see the great camaraderie in this sport. Tony Stevens winning out on this occasion over his great rival, Johnny Melanda. Tremendous competition all the way through in all the weights, and the heavyweights the most exciting of them. I'll be back.